Get the book at ASAPScience.com. In the words of music legend Whitney Houston, Your crack is whack. But with all the extra attention lately, thanks to Toronto Mayor Rob Ford, what exactly is crack cocaine? Is it really as whack as it's portrayed to be? Crack is simply another form of cocaine which comes from the leaves of a coca plant. After mixing powdered cocaine with a weak base such as baking soda, it changes composition and a solid is produced, often referred to as rocks. This solid has a much lower melting point than cocaine, allowing it to be smoked as opposed to snorted. In fact, it's called crack because of the sound it makes when heated. But why smoke it? Well, the lungs are an extremely quick and effective way of getting something into the bloodstream. Those with asthma, for example, use inhalers to quickly put a drug directly into their system. When smoke meets the large surface area in your lungs, it too slips right through the membrane and heads straight to your brain in as little as 8 seconds. This is much faster and more intense than the effects of snorted cocaine, which generally takes around 10 minutes to reach the brain. However, once in the brain, crack and cocaine are effectively identical. Initially, users feel energized, alert, and much more aware of their senses. In the brain, crack acts on the ventral tegmental area, releasing large amounts of dopamine, the chemical often associated with feelings of pleasure and euphoria. This dopamine travels between brain cells, called neurons, and binds to receptors that trigger the good feelings. Now, normally, this dopamine would be reabsorbed back into the neuron by a dopamine transporter. However, crack alters this process. It attaches to the transporter and blocks the reabsorption, allowing dopamine to build up and continually stimulate the receptors. As a result, you feel, well, really good for about 10 minutes. But soon after, the dopamine levels in the brain plummet, causing an extreme low and often feelings of depression, which is why many users typically smoke more, hoping to reach that high again. Unfortunately, these dopamine levels can take a long time to naturally replenish, contributing to physical and psychological dependence or addiction, as well as increased irritability, restlessness, and paranoia. In some cases, crack or cocaine abuse can lead to something called delusional parasitosis, the feeling that bugs or insects are crawling under the skin. This often leads to self-destructive behavior like scratching or biting in an effort to get rid of the imagined bugs. In the most serious cases, crack's impact on the heart can cause heart attacks, strokes, or even stop the heart altogether, leading to death. Simply put, on the extreme end of things, crack can get pretty whack. Thanks to Audible.com for giving you a free audiobook of your choice at audible.com slash ASAP. Audible is the leading provider of audiobooks with over 150,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature. One of our recent favorites is Sycamore Row, which is John Grisham's sequel to A Time to Kill. You can download this audiobook or another of your choice for free at audible.com slash ASAP. Then use Audible's free app to listen on your Apple, Windows, or Android device. Special thanks to Audible for making these videos possible and for offering you a free audiobook of your choice at audible.com slash ASAP. And subscribe for more weekly science videos.